Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited and a little nervous today to debunk a myth about growing sweet potatoes. First of all, excuse my voice, I sound a little funky because I just got over a cold. Anyway, let's go back um, years ago when I grew out my first sweet potatoes. I purchased some slips from a website. It's a very well established business. I'm not going to disclose the name of the company, but I will share with you the experience is that they specialize in selling all different varieties of sweet potato slips. That is basically what they do. So I bought these slips from them. The package did come with a, an instruction sheet and the instructions did tell me that you do not get sweet potatoes growing out of cuttings, so do not do it that way. You can only get sweet potatoes growing from slips. I planted them out and I got really great yield out of them. Now, they are a company that just sells slips. Um, I don't know if they said that because of that particular variety that you don't get good yield out of growing them from cuttings or that you don't, or just the fact that they sell slips. They said that I don't know. But I have, you know, I have a lot of um, a family friends and um, just a lot of, you know, people around the Asian neighborhood grow a lot of sweet potatoes and they actually don't, I don't know why they don't, a lot of them don't grow them for the sweet potato chewers, but they grow them for the leaves. Now, sweet potato leaves are edible. In fact, they're pretty tasty. They remind me a lot like spinach when they're cooked. If you guys want to check out how to uh, mixed sweet potato leaves. I have one of my favorite ways to cook it. I'll link it down below for you as well as how to grow out sweet potato tubers for the slips. Growing sweet potatoes, there's different ways to do it. You can grow from slips in, you can grow them from cuttings. That is what I've been told. I have friends that grow, grow them from cuttings and I've been very successful at it. I have never tried that myself because I guess I was just going off by directions and I should have been more experimental, which I finally did this year. I started them from cutting, so we're gonna take a look in just a moment to see um, if there's any sweet potatoes in that container. Now, when you have never grown sweet potatoes before, when you have a tuber, yes, the way you would start growing sweet potatoes would be from the slips. But, you know, as you get the plant growing, you can actually just take a cutting, you know, of um, the stems and uh, root them in water or in soil directly until they start rooting. And then you can plant that and make a whole other sweet potato plant and collect the tubers. That is how many people do it. I think cuttings is a lot easier, especially if you guys already got your plants growing. But growing them from slips is a great way to get started if you've never had any sweet potatoes. And it's a really great, you know, indoor project, like say in the winter time or something. So you can prep up these plants to put them out in the garden once, uh, you know, the temperature warms up. All right, now I'm going to take you guys out to the sweet potato area so we can do some harvest. Through my research, what I've learned is that there's apparently different kinds of sweet potatoes. Of course, there are different varieties of sweet potato tubers, the, the kind that you can grow to harvest the tubers. However, there's another kind that you grow them just for the leaves. You do not get tubers. I've also seen, you know, at nurseries, at the big box stores or just general nurseries, I have seen sweet potato leaves, like the vines, they would uh, sell them in the, they put them in the ornamental section. You, you know, the really beautiful bright lime green colored leaves or the deep purple colored leaves. And these ones apparently do not give tubers, but all sweet potatoes, what I read is that the leaves are edible. Anyway, I'm going to start uh, harvesting up. These plants have died back. This uh, area has a little more sun than other parts of the garden. Let me just kind of tell you guys, I got two pots that have been growing from slips and then the other pot were grown from cuttings. And then the fourth pot is grown in a lot more shade just because I forgot that I've left one in there and it's in a shady spot. So we'll see if I get any sweet potatoes in that one. Let's start this one. All right, cute. Oops. Oh no, it's gone. Sorry. This one was grown from slips. Thank you. OK, 
Okay, thank you, plant. When you grow them in grow bags, ooh, there they are. See, when you grow them in grow bags, they tend to uh, dry out very quickly. So you gotta make sure that they stay moist, otherwise they stress out and they won't make that much or that big of tubers. And these ones, definitely there were times when the containers dried out, dried out quite a bit. And then any roots that gets left behind in the soil, sometimes you'll see new plants that would pop up in the spring. All right, this next one. Okay, this one is a, uh, was grown from slips as well. Oh, I'm already seeing some sweet potatoes. Yay! Oh, oh come on out. Oh, <gasps> some good root system here. Look at that. All right, so the next one I'm going to harvest is uh, one that I left a tuber. I think it was about this size and it had like a few little uh, young slips growing out that looked very premature. Kind of like this one here. So uh, I buried it about this size with a few of these sort of like slips grown and let's see how, uh, let's just see what happened to it. It's actually really close to the surface and it's a really good size. What the heck? I certainly did not expect this. <laughs> Isn't this interesting? There's this tiny little one that is growing, like the root that comes out of this tuber is starting to swell and grow another sweet potato attaching to this one. Isn't that interesting? I think the sweet potatoes that grew in the morning sun area was in a grow bag, but because it was in more shade than the one in the full sun, the tubers ended up being bigger because of the moisture in that soil was actually, it stayed moist most uh, throughout, I think the entire time that it was growing. It's just that the difference was that it was lacking sun. All right, the final one is going to be the one I actually grew from cuttings Let's see if there's any sweet potatoes in there. <laughs> now this one, oh my gosh, I'm already seeing a sweet potato. <laughs> I'd say the biggest difference between this and the other ones uh, was that they were grown in grow pots, which means uh, the soil moisture sometimes dried out on those ones because this is not the easiest part for me to get to. Sometimes it would dry out when it has like really hot days. But being in a plastic container, the moisture can retain in the soil a lot longer. So I noticed that on some warm summer days, those ones in the grow back would um, dry out a lot, quite, whereas this one stayed moist. So I think this is a better way to grow sweet potatoes probably because the moisture level in the soil is quite important. When the plants stress out, it was just focus on trying to survive rather than, you know, producing tubers. So let's see, I think this is also why the tubers looks like it's bigger in this one. I'm getting too tired to <laughs> try to stay clean and all that. Oh. Wow, 
Would you look at that? What a difference, you guys. In the past, I've grown sweet potatoes directly in the ground using slips and I had really great success uh, now growing it in grow bags because grow bags are so good for air pruning the roots. Uh, but you know, it depends on certain types of plants. I think sweet potatoes like um, the soil to stay moist and it definitely stay a lot more moist in plastic. Look at this. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Thank you, plant. You're so, oh my gosh, you're gorgeous. Oh my goodness. Oops, broke a little point there. It's funny. Oh, there's the freesia. Isn't that funny that I've been told for so long, don't plant them from cuttings. And as a good student, I did not. Uh, although I have heard many comments from you guys and even from friends telling me that they have success growing it. But uh, you know, when you, t you hear from people, it's, it's, it's different than when you actually try yourself. Well, I guess the thing I've learned about this uh, today is that yes, you can absolutely grow sweet potatoes out of cuttings if you already got your plants growing. Be sure to not let the soil dry out or else you stress out the plant and it wouldn't be producing as big of tubers as they, they potentially uh, can grow them in plastic containers so that they would retain moisture more than grow bags otherwise you have a drip irrigation that constantly feeds moisture like water to the grow bags that would be fine I'm really happy that cuttings are actually really easy to take especially when you're growing sweet potatoes and you want to grow more before you know harvesting the tubers you can just simply take those cuttings and um, plant some more so that's it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, leave a comment down below um, if you got questions or share with me your, your experience of growing sweet potatoes. If you enjoyed this episode, please like, share, and subscribe to this channel and hit the bell notification for updates. If you guys want to pick up some plants and seeds, be sure to go check out my website. I will leave my website and um, the links of um, the videos I've mentioned in this video in the box below. All right, guys, stay safe. Happy gardening. I shall see you right back here very soon. Bye.